Denise and Denise Stokes. How are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank y'all for coming back to the channel. I'm Savings Fashionista. And over here, we do mainly things fragrance. And today, we are here to talk fragrances, you guys. And juicy mango fragrances, to be exact. So if you're interested in hearing about what I would like to share about the mango fragrances in my collection, please stay tuned. Okay, Nistas. All right, so today, we're going to talk mango fragrances, you guys. So about three weeks ago i put a post on my community wall and i did a poll and my question was which fragrance note is most popular to you summer 2024 so with 135 votes coconut had 64 percent mango had 27 percent and peach had 10 percent so to me you guys i thought that mango was probably going to be the most popular fragrance note this summer but it really wasn't according to these votes but for me i wanted to add more mango fragrances to my collection and right now i think i have a decent you know collection i have five full-size bottles i do have others on my wish list but if i don't get another one this summer i think i'll be fine with it so let's just talk about the ones that i have now this one that i'm sharing with you this is probably the oldest one that i have had in my collection and it is absolutely nice you guys it's a designer fragrance it's by paco Ray-Ban, and this is a little um robot decant and it came with a 10 mil travel size that i've used up but this is really nice you guys it has notes of mango jasmine and incense and it's a really nice fragrance you know it's 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 really nothing um extraordinary because it just smells like a nice designer fragrance and i enjoy it um, one of my um, supporters asked me, did I pick up the mango on my skin? And, and I think she was saying, and sometimes these conversations, they start to intertwine. I think they were saying they only picked up the floral note in it. But I do like Paco Ray-Ban. Do I like it enough to go and pay full price for a full-size bottle? No, probably not. But um, if I was to get it at a really, really great price, would I purchase it and wear it? Yes, I would, because I do think it's a fairly decent um, designer fragrance with a nice mango touch to it. So again, this is Pop Odori Ban Fame. All right, the next one is Valet. Now, this was a total blind buy. And I purchased this after reading over the notes and some of the um, reviews that was left on, I think it was Fragantica that I may have been on. This was my second fragrance from the Luna collection of Tiziana Terenzi. I've never heard anyone talk about this. You know, like Cassiopeia, Draco, Valet, not Valet, Cassiopeia, Draco, and um andromeda are like the more popular ones but after reading the notes i thought that this was a would be a really good one and it really is you guys it has um fragrance notes of fig green leaves mango red currant it has some hard notes of heliotrope jasmine elang elang rose it has some base notes of papaya um brazil wood amber musk and vanilla doesn't that sound absolutely beautiful yes it does and you definitely pick up that greenness it opens up very green but as this fragrance dries down and it starts to develop into my skin it's actually nice you can also smell the mango in the opening as well and it's it's beautiful you guys but there's something in this fragrance that gives it this powdery note. It's something about it that makes it have this powdery note. I'm just going to start doing some comparisons and research to see what is, and it has to be a floral that gives some fragrances a strong powder note. And I'm also smelling that same powder note in a fragrance that I just recently purchased. 
and it's absolutely beautiful i really enjoy this fragrance so again this is valet by tenziana terenzi all right the next one is something that had been on my wish list for a very long time i've had samples of this i have gone in store many a times and had conversations with the essay about this and i finally decided to add it to my collection i had mentioned it to husband i don't know why he never got it he's bought up to three bottles of rolling in love he must really like that on me and i would mention this but he never got it so i ended up getting it earlier this year and this is killian's moonlight in heaven now this has fragrance notes of grapefruit, mango, roasted tonka, aldehydes, and aquatic notes. Now, on initial spray and even initial sniff, this fragrance, it is male forwarding. It is definitely male forwarding. And it has a very strong um, citrus note, which is the, the grapefruit. The grapefruit is definitely here. But as the fragrance dries down, you do pick up this real subtle mango and it's like fresh ripe mango not like candy sweet mango but it's a very subtle type of mango and if you're not careful or you don't know what you're smelling you may just miss the mango note because the grapefruit is definitely that prominent to me but like i said as i've worn this and it dries down you do get a real subtle mango note that just kind of rests at the base although i think it's probably in the heart but this is nice i do enjoy this i've tried to get husband to wear it but he it's hard to get him to wear stuff in isolation because i want to see how it wears on him but i like it and i am glad that i do have it in my collection it's not your typical sweet juicy fruity type of mango fragrance it's not that but it does have a little mango twist to it. Right, so again, this is Moonlight in Heaven by Killian. All right, the next one is the star of the show. She received Summer 2024, It Girl, It Guy. And it's none other than Karaoke Heart by Juicebox. This fragrance is absolutely sexy. All of the hype is real, you guys. This is so good. It has top notes of lemon, pineapple, and mango. It has heart, note, heart notes of peony, rum, sandalwood, and it has base notes of vanilla, labdamon, and ambroxan. Very beautiful. This is good. This is really good. And I've shared this with a couple of people in decants, and they really like this. Like I said, this is a very easy unisex fragrance, in my opinion. If a gentleman is not afraid to wear something sweet, I do think that that rum note gives it that unisex vibe to it. And it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm kind of not so well with Twisted Lily because I got an email about four days ago and they were offering a free tote bag that's actually really cute that looks like the card that's inside of the box and um i missed the promotion because i purchased mine earlier so i don't think you can they don't retro promotions so i didn't get that promotion but i am glad to have this fragrance in my collection so again this is juice box karaoke heart all right, the next one is something that I just added to the collection, and this is Keith Glaze by The House of Eve. Now, I haven't even worn this yet other than testing it out in my pulse points, and it's really nice, you guys. It has fragrance notes of frozen lemon, mango, strawberry leaf. It has chantilly cream, coconut, it has ripe ginger, fruity musk, and precious woods. The woods that are in here are very deep because this fragrance comes off as a sweet, woody fragrance. In the beginning, you do get that juiciness from the mango, 
but as I tested it out and that was just a spray on the pulse point, it did kind of like fade away more so in the background. It was still a little sweetness, but I do think that the woody notes that are in here and it's not strawberry fruit, it's the actual leaf. It actually gives it more of a woody green type of fragrance DNA, more so than something very fruity, but it's pretty. It's one of probably their more popular fragrances from the House of Oud, and I like it. I can't wait to wear it full on and see what it's really given, but I really enjoyed it. So again, this is Heat Glades by the House of Oud. And the last one, but definitely not least, this is Sunplosion by Simon Andrioli, and you know, she she gets her fair share of popularity leader in paradise is probably the most popular one but i decided to get this one because i did want to add more mango fragrances to the collection and as i researched and i read the fragrance notes i'm like how can you go wrong with this this fragrance is pretty much linear but what i do really enjoy about this you can pick up just about from every fragrance note. The lime, the mango, the guava, the coconut water, the hibiscus, and the white sandalwood. I smell all of those notes. And like I said, this, the fragrance is it's pretty linear. It's very sweet. You do get a little zesty saltiness from the lime, and you get that seductiveness from that tropical flower, that hibiscus that I really like and it's absolutely beautiful this is a beautiful fragrance I said this is ecstasy in a bottle absolutely gorgeous so you guys those are my mango fragrances that I wanted to share with you like I said uh, if I don't add another one before the summer ends I'm fine with it but I did want to add more mango fragrances and I am happy with the start of my mango little category in my collection i do have other ones on the wish list um one that stands out in my mind that i don't know how these got in front of it but the god of fire by um david stefan helpberg it's a really really good mango fragrance um i have samples of it and i have another one that is a dupe from a house that I really um, enjoy. It's really good. So I want to thank you guys so very much for coming back. I greatly appreciate you. And do not forget you. Yes, you. You are great. Bye-bye.